Hello everyone, welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rankmate. Today, in this episode of VT Workshop, we're going to be looking at some sample questions related to the subject aptitude. So aptitude or mental ability is one of the many things that are tested in the VT exams. And when it comes to aptitude, you've got questions where it requires you to think laterally. So we're going to be looking at some questions and how you think laterally in those. Let's start off with our first question. This is based on coding and decoding. In a code language, if regains is coded as QDFZHMR, then the word periods will be coded as one of the four options. So how do we solve this question? Well, when it comes to languages, we need to translate um, the words into the code, which in most cases would have to do with each letter. So what we're going to do is we're going to analyze the code between regains and QDFZHMR. So R E G A I N S Q D F Z H M R. Now, if you look at the letters R and Q, you can see that Q comes before R in the alphabetical order. So uh, the order for the complete code language is to use the previous letter for that particular letter. For regains, R would be replaced by Q, E will be replaced by the previous letter D, G will be replaced by the previous letter F, A, since it's the first, would be replaced by the last letter of the alphabet, that's Z, I will be replaced by H, N will be replaced by M and S will be replaced by R. So we're going to the previous letter on the alphabet and then uh, writing that down instead of the actual letter. So we get a code like QDF ZHMR. So minus one or the letter before is the logic behind the code. So using this logic, we can translate any other word into this particular code. And for our answer, the word periods would have the letters P-E-R-I-O-D-S. So O comes before P in the alphabet, if we were to use that rule. Um, D comes before E, again, since we already have it. R, Q comes before R. So if you look so we've already finished off the first three letters and if you look at the options you can see that option B is incorrect because in option B it says that D replaces R which is not true because it does not follow the logic so using that the elimination we can easily arrive at our answer but without having to solve everything so for the letter I so the letter that comes before I is H so if we look at the options again you can see that option A is incorrect because it says N comes before I, which is not wrong, which is not correct. So uh, so H comes before I and not N, which is why option A is incorrect. Now, N comes before O using that logic. Now we have two options. So whether it's C, R or R, C. Well, what do you think? The letter that comes before D in the alphabet is C. So therefore, Option C is the correct option and not option D because it says R replaces D, which is not true because R does not come before D in the alphabetical order. So therefore, option C, O, D, Q, H, and C, R is the right answer because it follows the logic using the previous letter of the letter in question. So O comes before P, D comes before E, Q comes before R, H comes before I, N comes before O, C comes before D and R comes before S. So that is how we solve this particular code. And that's why option C is the right option. Now let's look at another question. If five hashtag six equals 121, 10 hashtag eight equals 324, then we'll find the value of 23 hashtag 14. Now the two numbers on the left are related to the right hand side in some particular way. And that relation is, you know, represented by the symbol. 
So we need to figure out what that relation is and then use that relation to find the equivalent value for 23 and 14. Now, if you look at the RHS, it's 121. The first thing that you'll notice is that it's a perfect square. 121 is the square of 11. And if you notice, the sum of 5 and 6 is 11. So 5 hashtag 6 would actually turn out to be 5 plus 6 the whole squared which is equal to 121. 5 plus 6 is 11, 11 squared is 121. So we've got a potential candidate when it comes to the relation between the three numbers. Let's test that out on 324. 10 plus 8 the whole squared, which is equal to 18 squared. And if you've learned your square tables, you would know that 18 squared is actually 324. So as you can see, the relation holds. So therefore, the symbol hashtag refers to first the, the square of the sum of the two numbers, being the right-hand side. And that's what we're going to apply for 23 hashtag 14. So 23 hashtag 14 is 23 plus 14, the whole square. Now, add 23 and 14, you get 37. And you need to find out the square of 37. You can do that by multiplying 37 with 37. I won't be doing the mu multiplication here because the final answer would then turn out to be 1369. So therefore, as you can see, option A turns out to be the right option. The other numbers aren't exactly perfect squares, so therefore option A would turn out to be the only correct option. And we did that by analyzing the relation between the right-hand side and the left-hand side. And we symbolize the relation with the hashtag, which in this case, hashtag stands for square of the sum of the two numbers. So 1369 turns out to be the correct option. Let's look at another question. This is again uh, a relation type of question, so we need to find out the related letter, word, or number from the given alternatives. So distance is related to odometer. Similarly, what word is related to barometer? Humidity, pressure, thickness, wind. Now, if you know what an odometer is, it's actually a device in your car, and the purpose of the odometer is to measure distance. So the total distance that the car travels is measured by the odometer. You can reset it in order to you know, start at zero and then calculate the distance from that. So that's what the odometer does. So since we have the relation um, instrument and quantity, so we have the relation, the quantity being measured and the instrument used to measure it. That's how, that's how our relation goes. Distance measured by odometer. So we need to find out what is measured by a barometer. Now, if you look at the word itself, baro usually stands for pressure. So the prefix baro stands for pressure. Meter is an instrument. So therefore, a barometer measures pressure. So therefore, option B, pressure, turns out to be the right option. Humidity is measured by a hygrometer. This is particularly asked in most of these kinds of questions, so we don't know what humidity is. In future, know that it's actually measured by a hygrometer. Thickness, which is basically length, is measured by many units like meter, scale, vernier calipers, screw gauges, etc. And wind, again, if it's wind speed, it's measured by an anemometer and the direction is measured by a, a weather wane. So therefore, option D also turns out to be incorrect. Pressure is the right option because pressure is what is measured by a barometer. So therefore, option B is the right option. Let's look at this question. Find the odd word, letter, or number pair, or number from the given alternatives. So we have two numbers paired with each other, 
All right. So, how do we solve this question? For that, we need to find out what relation exists between three of these options that the fourth one does not have. All right. Now, when it comes to these kinds of questions, if you have three or four numbers on the second side, it's a good idea to use. It's a good idea to break them up into single digits, and then you know operate on them. So this is a standard way of finding out relations. For example, 24 is the number on the left. The number on the right is 1614. So if you were to, let's say, add 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 is, is not equal to 24. Subtraction wouldn't do the trick because it, you need to you know, find a bigger number. So let's try multiplication. So 1 times 6 is 6, 6 times 1 is 1. I mean 6 times 1 is 6, sorry, not 1. 1 times 6 is 6, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 4, well, is equal to 24. So yeah, for this particular prayer, this relation holds. Let's find out if it holds for the rest of the table. Like if three of them holds out and the fourth one does not, then we found out our odd one out, the odd pair. So for 270, we have 5 and 6 and 9. 5 times 6 gives you 30. 3 times 9 is, you know, 27. So 30 times 9 would give you 270. So again, the relation holds. So we're pretty sure that this is the actual relation we're looking for. Now let's try that with 120. <clears throat> we have 4, 3, 2, 5 as the paired up number to 120. So let's start multiplying that. 4 times 3 times 2 times 5. 4 3s are 12, 2 5s are 10. 12 and 10 gives you 120. So therefore, um, options A, B, and C do relate to each other. Now let's try option 4, or option D. 162 and 6390. Now if you were to use this relation, you would know that 162 cannot be equal to the number on the right. They're not paired. Why is that? Well, you could multiply them, but you already know that there's a zero in there, and anything multiplied by a zero is equal to zero. So therefore, option D is the odd one out from the given pairs, so therefore option D has to be the correct option. Since here we're asked to find out the odd word or letters or number pair, so therefore, since the other number pairs do match up, so therefore option D is the correct option. Now let's look at the final question for the day. Choose the correct alternatives from the given ones that will complete the series. L blank N O blank blank M L L M blank O O blank M L. So now let's look at the series itself and see if we're able to find out how the series should progress. Now, if you look at this uh, set of letters here, you can see M followed by an L, followed by another L, and then followed by an M. And you have a blank here, and after that you have a double O. So an O followed by another O. So what does both of these tell you? Both of these tell you that the series is repeating. And how, and we, and we'll also be able to find out how it is repeating. And how the series is repeating is like this. The set of letters first go forwards in the alphabetical order and then backwards. As you can see, you have LM blank blank and then blank blank ML. So therefore, ML marks the end of the series and the start of another one. So that's how the series is going on. It's repeating itself. Another thing that we can gather from this uh, particular uh, extract is that you notice L is always closer to M whether it's forward or backward L is always adjacent to M similarly N is adjacent to O so therefore this is a series 
where L and M and O is follow, followed by its reciprocal. So that's O and M L. Then we start L M N O again, and then it becomes O and M L, and then so on and so forth. So that's how the series is progressing. So we would need to fill up the appropriate letters here in order to mark the series complete. So L, then M, and then N O. Then you'll have another O, and then N, followed by M L L M. You need to add another N here, O, O, and then you need to add another N here, M, L. So that completes the series, L, M, N, O, O, N, M, L, L, M, N, O, O, N, M, L. So that's the series complete. Now let's, um, you know, write out those letters that we filled in separately. So we first used an M, then an O, and then three Ns. So M, O, triple N are the number are the letters that we put in in order to complete the series and if you look at our options you can see that option d is the only option which matches our selection so therefore the other options would be incorrect because if you put them in then the then there would be no series because the letters would be jumbled up and that will break the series if you put m o n n n in all the gaps respectively then you get this particular series which we talked about so therefore, option D, M, O, N, 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 is the right option. And that concludes this episode of Viti Workshop. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the notifications icon present below the video. So until the next webisode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.